for us in our spiritual work we find that the most important skill that we can master is to shorten our emotional reactions to the situation and people in our life because the normal ways that let's say I get into a situation that makes me highly emotional it makes me angry and I can feel that anger for as long as I want I can drag it out and carry it on my entire life because of one little moment of time you carry this emotion in you and it's harming you the only person that is harmed by these negative emotions that anger or resentment you feel towards somebody else or something that happened to you in your life it's only harming you and the longer you carry it on the more you can also create disease in your life and other problems and you can't really move on you can't live your life and it really takes our conscious awareness to catch ourselves all right this happened I feel angry now okay do I want to stay in this emotion no for example if you have a health problem you can feel really bad about your health and expect that something worse and worse will happen with you it's normal for the brain for the mind because mind always has to anticipate the worst case scenario to keep us surviving on this planet or to, to keep us in survival but if you are going to be too emotional about uh, that you have anxiety or that you have some serious diagnosis and you still will be feeding this fear and uh, you you will stay scared and so on it's going to only make your body worse and worse so when you do that remind yourself hey I am not going to be now nervous because the stress hormones will feed more of this not good things in me you know mm -hmm. and I, it triggers a cycle yeah like it's something that you have probably trained over time that one thought triggers a whole reaction and you can stay in there for really long I want to share with you a story of what Petra experienced because it's a really great example of how fast you can shorten your emotional reaction we were supposed to go to three different appointments and we were about two and a half hours away by car and we agreed that we will drive with Petra's mother we needed to leave at a certain time but Petra's mother was uh, insisting to take uh, something into the car which was not really that important and it was hard to fit it because there was not enough space but she was trying for half an hour to fit that thing in the car and finally they made it but by the time we were ready to leave it was already too late for our appointments so we were thinking are the people going to be okay if we come late or should we reschedule so we called there they said it's not good they can't wait for us and we had to reschedule so something that we have planned for over a month we just had to cancel it that day and you got really angry in that moment because she was so prioritizing to pack that thing into the car which was not important at all also for her it wasn't that important but I was very very angry and I felt the anger in me I didn't express it I was just quiet then I saw her hyperventilating and I'm like, are you okay? Because I started to care for her more, you know, my anger started to switch into compassion immediately. She has to be okay to drive, you know, so my attention switched completely from anger to compassion and I made sure that she's okay. We were both making sure that she doesn't feel guilty about it, that she's okay, that she can calmly and relaxed drive safely to her destination because we were not joining her. But what's most important is that Petra was changing her emotion in that moment because she could be still today, one day later, angry at her that we missed our appointments, that we have to go there again you could be still in that emotion and, mm. and when you see her again when she comes back you could I be have, still showing her that anger and I have every right to be in that emotion mm -hmm. I have every right every tick you can imagine I could be angry at her I was just thinking that if she's going to leave me and she's in a bad emotional state it's very probable that she doesn't have to pay attention too much to the road to the driving and something could happen 
and I could avoid it because I am above this situation. I see that I could contribute to her feeling better. I made her to get out of the car and breathe and calm down. We made sure that she doesn't feel guilty. For me, the same thing. I could have also gotten really angry and emotional, but I just decided, okay, I'll focus on the positive. All right, we have a whole day now. We can chill, we can enjoy the sun. This is a skill really worth practicing in your life. We highly encourage you to do so. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. They are slowly moving into my blankets and everything. That was yeah. my side. <laughs>